It's uh, November and we're here at Benderson Park in Sarasota and uh, we've been trolling for crappie using the Roadrunner and it's been successful. We've caught at least three and um, it's a great fun time. It's been really great. Um, come out and do it. It's a fun, fun experience. Worth it. Trolling for crappie on the Benderson Lake. See if we can get us another one. They're fun to catch. They are fun to catch. Good to eat, fun to catch. It's a beautiful day. Can't beat that. I think I might have a bluegill. I don't know. It's pulling pretty hard. We went through some school of fish and doubled up. I got yeah. I got one on this other rod. And Miss Bonnie's got a Oh no, it's a crappie. That's a crappie. Tell you what, just reach down there and lip them. They have really soft mouths. Oh, that's okay. Oh, darn. That's okay. We got plenty. Put that one down and grab this one. <laughs> got a d double, double, uh, double action going. Yeah, we just went through a little wad of them. We got what we need for dinner, so it's okay if they get away. Yeah, it's funny. We've been working hard at it all morning, and just kind of on our way back. There's the boat ramp right there. Yeah. And we said we might as well. Bam, bam. Well, we'll fish our way back home. This is an electric motor or paddle lake only. So no big boats, no running around on plane. That's actually a decent one. Another crappie, big crappie. Oh, that is a big one. Big crappie, wow. I thought they were both bluegill, but they were both crappie. <laughs> Sweet, great way to end it. Yeah, Super nice. Big he is. Nice. He is. That was fun. Alrighty, we're out here river fishing with Bonnie on the Braden River. There's a school of fish popping up. Go ahead and throw in them, see if we can catch one. They're probably Jack Crevel. They're popping pretty good. Oh, there's a big something. Okay, get in there. Is that a giant thing? No. Hard jerks. Be, be aggressive. These might be ladyfish. He's on it. Alright, rod up. Take your time. That a girl. Nice and easy. Oh yeah, that's a big Jack. Jack Ravel, hard fighting dudes. Yay. Yeah. Yeah, these things, what they do is they come up in here in the winter time in these creeks and canals and stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah. If I had someone else, I'd be doubled up. Yeah, nice ones. Oh yeah. Good one. Yep, Jack Ravel. Oh, they're on the right side too. Yep, yep, yep. Still fighting them, man. This is a tough one. Might be a little bigger than I thought. He's huge. I saw him come up and I was like, whoop. There they are back there. Still playing. I haven't caught him yet, but he's a good size. I don't know if I've ever caught a jack this big. Okay. Personally, on my own. All right, I had to stop filming the net at four, but big old Jack Creval. There you go. Lift it up just a little. Pretty fish. Yay! All right, let's get it back in the water. Go ahead, let's get a nice release. Hold his tail for a little bit and put him in. It looks like he's about ready. Yeah, he's ready to go. Nice! That was so awesome. Cool. Loved it. Another little bit better snook on here, I think. Yeah, it feels, it feels bigger, whatever it is. Oh yeah, decent one. You don't have to do that when they're when they're close to the boat, just when they're heading for the structure. Nice. That's what we're out here looking for. Nice pretty girl with a nice pretty snook. Beautiful day in Sarasota in mid-October, even though it's like high in the upper 80s, upper 80s, almost 90. Yeah. But anyway, come to Florida, catch one of these guys. Nice redfish for Miss Bonnie. We're out here snook fishing. This was an unexpected catch. Yeah, go ahead and let her yeah. get her back in. Okay. Okay, Red, you ready to go? Thanks for the <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bonnie's got another gar on. I think, you got him? Yeah. Our snook fishing trip has been resorted to <laughs> a gar fishing trip because nothing else the heck is biting. But you know what, we're glad to have it. So let's see if this one jumps like the other one did. They're actually kind of fun. I mean, you look at how beautiful the river is. Oh, he's oh. off. 
Bonnie's got the hot hand today. She's got another fish. We're thinking it's a big old gar. We're out here trying to catch snook and we've reverted to dropping jigs on the bottom for gar because that's all we can get to bite. Yeah, that one hooked good too, I think. Have you seen it? I mean, you sure it's a gar? Yeah, well, I don't know about it's big. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it's a snook. It's, really it's big. Alright, get some line back on it. I guess it could be a big old snook, but I doubt it. That's <laughs> your hands full. Oh, you foul hooked it, that's, that's why. why. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, it's kind of strange. Look at those spots. Spots yeah. Like that? yeah, I don't know if they're spotted gar, Florida gar. Honestly, I don't know what they are. You probably won't be holding this one up for a picture. Oh, look at the spots on that tail. This is enormous. That tail. Wow. Impressive. I didn't know they had spots on them. Yep. Hmm. No wonder. It's harder to steer them when you hook them in the propeller. <laughs> He's got quite the tail. Quite the spots. Well, I'll try to get hilarious. a look at him anyway. Getting me wet. There he is. Oh right yeah, there. that's not a bad one. I think we'll get the de hooker out for this guy. Yeah, we, I think we'll have to if I can. Just gotta get them close enough to, I guess. Yeah. Okay. All right. There's Miss Bonnie with her gar. Fishing's been kind of tough today. Water's a little too warm, but she caught a fish. Go ahead and dump him in. Okay. Ready just, to go back in? <laughs> Slimy fish. <laughs> but half here. Or? That's good. All right. Where am I? Yep. Yep. Bonnie's got another one on. This one's acting a little more pompano-ish. <laughs> if that's a word. Oh yeah, see him scooting around. I think that one's foul hooked too. Uh, it's a little bit better one. Let me get the net. Okay. Hang on, let me get the net for that one. Second foul hooked one. Yeah. Nice. All right, let me grab the net. We'll get her off. Look at these unusual looking little jigs we use. They're called banana jigs. Um, one brand that's real popular is Silly Willy. Whatever it is, they catch them. They uh, bounce around on the bottom, simulate something that's natural. They eat them up. Cool. All right, lift him up a little bit. Stop biting me. <laughs> Good body with a nice, that's a little bit better than average. If you can see the jig here, whoops, they are slimy. I got him, let go. This is a different style of jig. This is more of the conventional Pompano style jig. You know, it's got a short, it's compact, it's got very little skirt. Um, Pompano have a very small mouth and that jig just imitates a crab or shrimp or whatever it is that those guys eat. Awesome pretty good at this okay, okay. what you'll you gotta see, do you'll see record what you gotta do guys is you gotta oh. stop reeling when the planer gets about a foot from the rod tip and walk down the gunnel of the boat and hand line it in the rest ah. of the way nice that's a really good one this long leader is a pain but there's just no way around it you have to have them or you don't get the action in the spoon you want Go. Yay. Spanish mackerel, you see the little spoon there? That's just like a number two Clark spoon. Really imitates the size of the bait fish that these guys are feeding on. You can see them? Nice little average size Spanny mac. Good job. <laughs> nice. That's good.